Angela. And I'm very happy that you came here. I would like to make you laugh. I would like to make you cry. I would like to make you. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be here. I am very happy to be here. Life's a bowl of cherries. That's what some pervert wrote. <laughs> Some guy hanging around a girl's school, right? You know, in an old Ford coupe, right? With a newspaper over his lap. <laughs> Life is just a bowl of cherry. I hung out with some beautiful cats, some super niggas when I was a kid. I remember when I was a kid, my, my, my father used to tell me, don't go hanging out with them niggas now. <laughs> You remember when it was a store, they used to sell nigger babies in the store. I remember that, man. I used to go to the store, can I have a dime with the nigger babies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, nowadays they think kids are progressive because kids go, uh, could I have a dime worth of Negro children, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Charge it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, man, I remember the thing when we had this gang, right? And all the guys in the gang, we had processed hair. You know, that's poor black was beautiful, right? And that's where you get your hair straight, you know, makes you look Puerto Rican, right? <laughs> right, and the guys in the Midwest, right? I didn't know you were Spanish. Come on in, boy. <laughs> we had a gang, right? When State Park was our favorite hangout. And State Park in Peoria, Illinois, State Park is, in Peoria is what they call a model city, you know. Put you in hell, just <laughs> hmm, not bad. <laughs> Don't in hell. <laughs> but it was really wild. You remember, and we go to state parks, see, and we watch the, the girls play volleyball, you know, and you try to cop, you know, right? And the girls are really neat. Have you ever seen the girls play volleyball? Right? And they just scream, right? <laughs> And it made the guys horny, right? <laughs> and the guys used to tell me, I was the chump, right? And the guys used to tell me, you know, girls help you with your pimples. Yeah. <laughs> I'd go over and say, if you don't go ask the girl, can you mind that? You can't hang with us. I'd go, uh, can you help me with my pimples? <laughs> I have some cream here you can use. <laughs> so I don't know cream, you know. What kind of girl do you think I am? <laughs> Just a girl. Well, I'm not. I am a virgin. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> you couldn't top that, right? You know. <laughs> Girls were funny. Girls make love to you, but they like to lie. You know, like to make the guys lie, right? They were saying, girls said, I would, but you'll tell. Right, and go, who, me? You can trust me. Right, and you couldn't wait, hey, fellas, because we're having me and lie, you know? I remember when the girls used to wear those rubber things. Remember, the, the, not, not just pants, rubber over their panties, right? Those secret rubber things that couldn't be moved and it really and it was rubber really tight that they put on with hooks right in those long stretch hooks they clamp and they walk like this sometimes to be so tight <laughs> really weird and, and, and you couldn't get you couldn't get you couldn't get it down or anything and they were just cool because they knew you couldn't get it off and just let me touch you on the knee. Man, if you ever did get it off, man, you'd just be too tired to do anything. Right? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Nowadays, though, the girls take birth control pills, right? You know, and everybody's a virgin. Man. Women 82, I'm a virgin. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Saying, when women take the pill, right, every day for about nine months, right, and the end of nine months, give birth to a tremendous tablet. 
You're the proud father of a nine-pound Anderson, Mr. Johnson. Oh, I love it. Keep it away from water. Girls. So we go to State Park, see, and we go over like the big guys would be the guy. Weasel, see, there was a cat named Weasel who used to hang with us. He'd signify, right? He'd lie on people and he'd get the fight started. Because he'd always tell somebody, hey man, someone's on talking about your mother. Right? You know, and everybody go crazy and it'd be a big fight. And Ronnie was one of the cool guys, right? Because Ronnie could take the baseball and throw it up and hit it. And I really thought that was cool. Because I ain't never been able to do that. But Ronnie, Get that one, chump. Beautiful catch. Okay, go way back for this one, man. On top of the shiver. <laughs> and the weasel say, Hey, Ronnie, can I talk to you for a minute, bro? I'm gonna tell you something, man. It's really gonna blow your mind. What could you possibly tell me to blow my mind, chump? Jesse been talking about your mother. <laughs> What Jesse said about my mother, man. Because I ain't got nothing to do with it. Why don't you go to the basketball court and ask Jesse, man? Right, and we'd all follow him over to the basketball court. Ooh, wait, wow. This is going to be a good one. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, Jesse tough, man. He knocked out Pig with one punch. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Ah, Pig was out. It was great. Man. And Pig ain't no chump either. Yeah. And Jesse be playing basketball, right? Hey, Jesse. <laughs> What'd you say about my mama, man? I didn't say nothing about the bitch. <laughs> and all the little cats be going, ooh, I know you ain't gonna take that, Ronnie, right? You know, and Ronnie go crazy, right? I kill him, right? And guys would grab him, right? When guys grab him, you could really do your show business, right? Guys would be holding, let me go, man, I killed him. Everybody said, I'll kill him. You let me go, I kill the cat, man. They let him go. Jesse was a killer, man. He didn't get swats in school or nothing, you know, because the principal, Buck Smith, the name used to scare me. Right? I'm going to send you to Buck Smith. <laughs> he had a big paddle, man, with holes in it and hit you and your meat go through it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse kicked the door in. <sighs> Teacher said you wanted to see me. Uh, yes, Jess, I was going to ask you about new school planning. <laughs> just, just take a seat, Jess. Uh, Miss Walker, call the cops. <laughs> uh, Jesse, fight the cops, man, right? Because the cops come around sometimes, right? You know, all right, you kids, stop having so much fun and go home, right? <laughs> Jesse, I ain't going no place. Jesse, we got ways to make you move. Yeah, but it better be some good ones. <laughs> He'd fight 30 cops. <laughs> right, and the next day we'd talk about it, right? He said, Jesse, man, you was tough the way you fought them cops all by yourself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I used to be like a show business freak when I was a kid, legally kid. But John Wayne was one of my heroes, and uh, I used to wonder, did movie stars go to the bathroom? <laughs> Did you ever wonder that? Did movie stars go to the bathroom? Cause I just couldn't imagine Tony Curtis going to the bathroom. You know what I mean? I thought maybe he had somebody go for him. I did. I used to think that. You know, I, I knew some movie stars went to the bathroom. Like John Wayne, you know he goes to the bathroom, right? John Wayne, I want to go poo poo. <laughs> the president gonna go, right? He talks his out. <laughs> Speaking of poo poo, uh, speaking of poo poo, right? can you imagine that on the nationwide? Speaking of poo poo, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> but <laughs> I had a cousin, man. Me and him used to make a bet. We lived about four blocks from the movie, man. We had the grooviest game in the world. We used to bet who could poo poo in their pants the most before we get home. And we'd be walking along, you know, do -do 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 -do, and the guys that we blow minds, man, the people going the other way would just. <laughs> They didn't know what to say or nothing. It was really wow. I love the movie. They used to go see John Wayne in the war movies, right? You know, because they made war seem so cool, right? In the movies, John Wayne, right? The guy, uh, say goodbye to Spot. And I thought that was cool, man, you know, dying. Say, I remember there the, used to be in the Marines a lot, John Wayne, right? And he used to always have the Marines hitting the beaches and stuff, screaming and yelling, right? You know, let's go, man! And there's nobody on the beach. <laughs> right, except a bird. 
What's that, Sarge? It's a bird. Right, and there's always some guy that stood up. Remember the guy that stood up? Get down, man, get down. Yes. What for, Sarge? There's an enemy within 30 miles. <laughs> <laughs> right, and his best friend would freak out, right? His best friend. Right, and you hear the enemy, Oh, come on, shut up, 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 shut But then they make oh my god, shut up, let's go, Yankee, go home, screw Babe Ruth, you know. <laughs> it really made the Americans mad, right? You hear what he said about Babe Ruth, fellas? Let's get him. <laughs> I remember the guy on the submarine, right? They used to give the commanders on the submarine used to give the guys the pep talks before they go into combat. And I never understood why I give a guy a pep talk, right? On a submarine, because he can't get off. <laughs> Right, but they're talking my note. Now hear this. Now hear this. This is the captain speaking. That is all. <laughs> all right, ma'am, that is. Ma'am, we're going into combat. So I want you, ma'am, to mop the deck and poop the ship. There's a few things I want to tell you, ma'am, before we take off. Some of you are going to get wiped out. <laughs> That's all I want to tell you before we take off. Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> but then they have what they call a first mate. He comes out. And Ace, quiet down, you guys. The last time I'm telling you, man, this, I'm not telling you anymore. Torpedo tubes on the left, laboratories on the right. <laughs> That's right, you guys keep getting a little mixed up. We lost three men last week. <laughs> now watch it. Wait a minute. <laughs> but then they have a guy in the signal corps who understands all those. Right. Secret message, Captain. I think it's stupid. <laughs> Medic! Medic! The Amity wants to know how much more of we have left aboard ship. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> I don't know, baby, you know. I'm just saying along with the breeze. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything's mellow, you know. Uh, Watch that man, Henderson. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Then they have the guy on the sonar. Really understands the sonar. You know, that's what they discover the enemy ships with, right? And he sits there and really gets his cookies from that noise, right? Like, <laughs> Sir, sonar picked up enemy ship. Abandoned ship. <laughs> Prepare to fire torpedo one. Aye, sir. <laughs> torpedo one, you're fired. <laughs> Henderson, help stupid fire torpedo two. <laughs> fire torpedo two. <laughs> torpedo two fired, sir. Good. Where's Henderson? He went to the laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> Never go party again. Uh. They ought to hire the mafia to do the fighting. Right, you could pay the mafia, what, the $70 billion of war costs. Right, say, Mr. Mafia, we give you $70 billion if you can keep that music down. It shall be done. Hello, Chicago. Hello, Louis. Yeah, Chief. <laughs> I want you to hear Ho Chi Minh. Okay, Chief, it shall be done. What's a Ho Chi Minh? <laughs> Can you imagine a guy making the hit right here? Ding, ding. Who is it? Avon calling. <laughs> I was in the Army. I was in the Army. 14 months, I me. Mean, I was in the service. Uh, arm, armed forces are 14 months. I, was, I got what they call mental discharge. I was, I was mentally unfit, you know. All right. 
guys stayed and guys like, well, any, anything you say, Sarge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, the Army is really funny. I went to Army because in my neighborhood, right, you know, when you're 17, the cops come to your house, you know. If you go to Army and go to jail. But they have this guy, you go to kill class and learn how to kill, right? You know, that's, <clears throat> and the lieutenant takes you, you know. At ease, man. At ease, please. Keep it down. Uh, today, man, we're going to show him what Bravo Company's made out of, and we're going to do a good job for Uncle Sam. That's right. I'm going for a manicure, and I'll be back at 1,600 hours or one of those funny army times. <laughs> so, right, and then the sergeant comes out, you know, kill sergeant. This the outfit, man. I've had this shit up to here with these recruits. Well, they can take these stripes and shove them, you know what I mean? I see, no, I'm, I'm mean it. I'm padded. Bravo Company! Take your seat! Today, man, we're going to learn how to <laughs> Now I was in World War II. I killed some and I was killed some. <laughs> That's right. I was wounded 31 times. To this day, I have a wooden ear. <laughs> Funny, huh? I don't want any of you smart-ass recruits out there striking matches on my ear. <laughs> now today, we're going to learn attack and defense. I want to volunteer front and center on the double. You down in. What's your name? Sambo. Come up here. Prior, right? Move it up around the double. Go! Man, my name ain't no Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Private Prior will demonstrate the leg thrust kick to the groin. That's right, the groin. Where are you gonna kill him? Kicking him on the elbow? <laughs> I will demonstrate the block and elbow smash to the Adam's apple. Excuse me, Sarge, can you get somebody else? I got to go bathroom. Then you... <laughs> now, I want you men out there to pay close attention. This may possibly save your lives in combat. On the streets of New York. <laughs> okay, Private Pryor. Come on, kick! God damn it, kick! Kick! No! Class dismissed! I walked around there, I was a hero after that, man, you know, because the guys was coming up and getting my autograph, you know, hey, you the guy kicked the sword in the nuts? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, was it to mother? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> I like marching in the army, man, you know, because marching was kind of groovy, you know, because you, mar- you didn't have to think much, you just marching. Guy calling, I had a groovy guy calling caves, right? Guy, hop, hop, hap, hoo, hop, hap, hoo, hop, hap, hoo, hop, 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 hap, hoo. Let's go back and count some more. Hop, 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 hop. Right. And then some days they let the hillbilly guys call cadence, right? And their timing was beautiful, right? The guy, hop, hop, hoo. Looking good, looking good like you should. Okay, Jennings, call cadence for a while. Guy. Thank you, Sarge. Thank you very much. I do, I do, I do, three, four. I do, I do, I do, three, four. Ain't it, ain't it, all them all catching it. Right. I think the hillbilly... 
Philly people, man, have such a groovy way to talk, man, right? I mean, because I'm from the Midwest, see, and it's like what you call hillbilly people live out there, you know, right? I guess what you call hill, hillbilly people, man, right? They call us nigga the hillbilly people. <laughs> <laughs> you turn on the radio, man, and all you hear, they talk about God. You turn on the radio. Hi out there, friends and neighbors. Has God touched you today? <laughs> <laughs> well, if he hasn't touched you, I'll tell you what you do. You send us a dollar eighty-five cents. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. People send in cards and letters wants to know, is God dead? Well, it's not true. And to prove it's not true, God's going to be in town June 14th, 15th, and 16th. One show a night, you know. I had a grandmother, man. She used to go. She used to have healers, right? And it was really the big thing. They used to work in tents, right? You go to the tent, you know. And they used to pray on the people and straighten them out. They'd go in with, you know, like bad arms, and they'd screw them up. You know, they'd worsen it. They'd come out, you know. They're really great. Oh, he's so wonderful, you know. And I remember this one guy, man, you know, and he would talk stuff, though. He, was, he could talk it, you know what I mean? And he was really clean, clean, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had, like, silk on silk stuff, you know, like, silk, you know, tie pin and everything, you know. Silk belt, you know, he was really together, man. He was cool, you know. And he, you know, God, God is a wonderful person. You see, you see, I first saw God in around 1929. In Chicago. I was walking down the street on the south side. I was just looking, I wasn't thinking about nothing. I was eating a sandwich. And God came up to me and said, May I have a piece of your bread? And I looked at God, I looked at God good. Cause I was hungry. <laughs> and I wasn't about to give up none of that sandwich. <laughs> and, and God said to me, God said, He so ever who touches knows best his way. And it moved me. It moved me. I kept on going. <laughs> Yeah. My grandmother had arthritis, you know, arthritis. It, it was, you remember arthritis? Yeah. It was big in the 50s, right? You know. But this guy used to pray on the people, and my grandmother went in there and he prayed on it, right? Let the mighty power go through my body and heal this woman. And I used to say to myself, if that guy got any power, why don't he fix his mouth? <laughs> I had beautiful time, man. Like, I had two grandmothers, right? But they were completely different people, man. Because, like, one grandma used to give me, like, milk and cookies. And the other one used to give me beer and reefer. Right, man. And needless to say who I liked the best, right, man. But it was just great. Because I remember, like, my grandma, we was like 11 kids in the family, right? You know, I think 11. You know, one barks, not too short. But 11 kids, right? And it was really <laughs> great. Because, like, Saturday night was bath night, see? And my grandmother bootlegged during the week, see? And on the weekend, she'd empty out this big tub, man. You get in there, you get washed up, you know? Right? You know, sometimes you get washed up two or three times, right? You know? Because somebody didn't show up, you know? Right? <laughs> and they all looked alike to her, right? You know? Give me a kid. <laughs> the kid didn't have a bath for about a month, right? My grandmother flipped out, right? And I was like, somebody around here haven't had a bath for a month. And uh, she washed the kid up, and it wasn't my brother, right? A little white kid lived down the street. <laughs> Hung around, liked the way we talked. He said, really a soul, brother, ain't I, fellas? Ain't I got a lot of soul? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. 
I said, yeah, man, you really so, brother. Let me have two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he was beautiful. He was in our gang. We had this gang, see. And we never could get the cat to say nigger, man. He never would say nigger, man. You know, even in arguments and fights, he'd always say, Leave me alone, you Negro. <laughs> <laughs> Guy really got destroyed, right? Lived in, in the neighborhood with us, right? Lived in the neighborhood with us because he was really a nice guy man we used to hang out together we play cowboys and stuff right and then the mothers start calling you and it's really neat because the mothers start calling you come on man but it was wild man because about six o'clock right the mother start right and miss thomas was on it right now and we'd hold his mouth so he couldn't answer <laughs> And one of the guys in the gang would answer, like, Leroy, what you want? Come on and eat. Go to hell. <laughs> then we'd let him go. <laughs> and it made him mean, man, in high school, because he got to be a killer, man. <laughs> and he'd see you in the hallway, man. He'd say horrible things to you, right? And he'd walk up to you, you know, That's the school. I'm going to bite off your foot. <laughs> and I believed him, man, because he walked, he walked around with old shoe hanging out of his mouth. You know? <laughs> when we get ready to fight, I'd have a heart attack. Yeah, put him up. <laughs> and the guy said, he's dying, he's dying. And Leroy, Leroy didn't go for it. Right? Get up, man. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with you, chump. Get up. <laughs> this is really something, boy. You ever watch the love movies, man, when they, like, the, what, you know, girl and a guy early in the morning, you know, darling, I love you. <laughs> and I just never believed that, man. Uh -huh. I never did from my heart, man, because I knew that usually when guys, you know, man, when you wake up early in the morning, man, you usually have like an odor on your breath that just <laughs> wipes out anything that comes into contact with, man. You breathe, <laughs> wallpaper disintegrates, <laughs> a big hole in the bed, right? And the last thing you want, somebody said, I love you. Sure, 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 dear. Uh, I, I don't need the coffee this morning. Uh, I, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Yeah. I never had breath until I started hanging out with girls. I didn't, man. All the time, nobody ever cared, man. But one time a girl said, One of you guys has bad breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you start talking like this. <laughs> And you ever try to check yourself out and be cool, right? You go. I got it. And you worry, you worry about your deodorants and things like that, right? You know, because you want to be together, right? And deodorants are dangerous, right? Because they have, you ever read them? Like they have things on like, caution contents, highly inflammable, may explode. Now, I don't know about you folks, but I don't want nothing under my arm that's going to explode. Right? Because you could be walking down the street, you know, <laughs> What the hell's the matter with him? I don't know. He don't smell. <laughs> you ever try to check yourself out for that, right? You know, that's hard to do because you can't say, excuse me, I'm going to go smell myself. <laughs> I don't know why you can't, but you can't, right? You know. I used to hang out with guys that embarrassed the hell out of you, man. Right? They'd tell you where it was at, because you could be at a party any place, right? Group, boom, hey, and right? And the guy walk up, hey, bro, you better get your arms together. <laughs> but th this is called this is called being 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 bursted.
as we all know, was created by God because uh, he was up in heaven. And he didn't have nothing to do but roll around heaven all day. <laughs> and his woman was bothering him, right? You know his woman. Why don't you do something, God? <laughs> you could beat somebody. <laughs> With all that magic stuff, you know, the devil doesn't know half the stuff you're doing. Look, he's filthy rich. <laughs> could have a car and everything. <laughs> All you do just lay around the house getting high. <laughs> You're gonna get busted too. <laughs> so everybody wants to keep their woman. <laughs> so God decided to make people. <clears throat> Don't mess with the trees, people. Hey, this is great. What is it? Who cares? I warned you, young lady. <laughs> and time passed, right? You know. Hold it, space. Okay, time. And we came to the time known as. Hear ye, hear ye. King Arthur's court will now come to order. Prince Valiant. You who? <laughs> Sir Lancelot, yady yady. <laughs> Queen Guinevere, over here. I, Christopher Columbus, claim this land in the name of Spain. Screw the engine. <laughs> Let us give thanks this day of Thanksgiving that we might be so thankful to be thankful. And it's good to be thankful that we're all thankful we're thankful. Huh? You thankful we're thankful? Yeah, Master. <laughs> My is the scene, the glory of the coming of the Lord. You want to stop singing them religious fanatic songs? Get to work and pick my cotton? When Johnny come marching home again. My is the scene, the glory of the coming of the Lord. You ain't got to sing no more, brother. We free. Just pick the cotton. <laughs> Why don't you hang the picture over there, Jesse? <laughs> Are you kidding, Miss Brown? The Titanic's... Do <laughs> <laughs> you have anything to say about the war, Sergeant York? Nope. It's a fine time to rest somebody. St. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Deutschland is the fatherland! All of this was Deutschland! Deutschland, they were don't listen to his more sugar, I'm telling you, a person will not look, I know, but I like it. Oh, Osuno Okrasa Arshon no Shotreta. Pohaba Sarinara. Banzai Apohaba. Honest, Mr. President, we didn't know they were going to attack. <laughs> and now we have on the Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces, General Dwight D. Eisenhower. Hello? This is Eisenhower. Just like to thank you all for buying my jackets. <laughs> the preceding was announcement by the president of IBM. <laughs> That's not what your country can do for you, that's what you can do for your country. And if you do, my fellow Americans, 
you will know that I will continue even though I have said I will not. <laughs> For I believe every time water falls, a flower grows. <laughs> I believe somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe all men are created hmm? equal. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Listen to your woman, but not closely.